everyone, my name is Emma and I'm from Myanmar. I'm studying UL final year now. Today I'm gonna share with you about why is understanding yourself important. Is the topic interesting enough? Yes. What if I say something wrong? Just go back and sleep. Girl, just go back and Well, that was my inner voices trying to stop being me. Just a show of hands, have you ever felt depressed about yourself? Well, quite a lot. It's really common and according to WHO, there are more than 300 million people are suffering from depression. I would like to share a personal one which is being away from home at the age of 14. Before I start, I want to let you know that my, how my childhood days look like. So we wake up 5 a.m. in the morning. We go for Chinese school at 6 a.m. to 9, 8 a.m. Then followed by Burmese school at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. When we came back home, we thought that we can rest, but we still got to go home tuition for Chinese classes until 8 p.m. But during week weekends, we, we have to go for English classes as well. So you must be wondering why I learned three languages. The reasons are Chinese is my first language and English is an international language which is a must to learn and obviously because I'm from Myanmar, I need to learn Burmese. Regardless of the busy class schedule, I was a happy kid. Until the age of 13, I was being sent to another city for the last two years of my Burmese high school. Since then, my daily lifestyle has changed. I have to spend 24 hours staying with friends and teachers. Since it's not home, I felt lonely and I was not used to the new surroundings. I rarely talk to others because I constantly judging myself and of being afraid of people's judgment. I started to be a quiet person as a result. Another reason is because I was away from home, then I had certain expectations like warmth, acceptance, and fondness from others, but staying in hostel just not at what as I expected. I started to feel depressed for being clueless in talking with others, and I had difficulties expressing how I felt. But I was like, um, no one bully me, no one talk back behind me, but it's just irrational for me to be sad, right? But what, the, what is the problem? Is that I always overthink. Because of these misconceptions, that I keep holding, like I have to be loved by everyone at all time. So I tend to create certain impressions. In managing those impressions, I started to lose sense of self by constantly changing the actions and reactions just to achieve that. Like a chameleon, the it quickly change its color just to suit others' perceptions. When I look back, I wonder why I suffered mentally. I found the answers.
new like self awareness. Understanding yourself is really important. So, uh, you need to know your own value and what your self worth are. What elevated me from being emotionally stressed was self awareness and. It's really important to figure out your own way of distressing. Let me end my speech with a quote. Forget about being single or whatever. Do you want to meet the love of your life? Yes. Just yes. look in the mirror. Yes. 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 yes.